So electric current, uh, what is it? Well, if we consider perhaps a piece of wire, then it might be the flow of uh, the electrons within inside that wire. However, not all electricity happens to be in wires. So if we think about copper sulfate, it's not so much the electrons moving, it's more all the various uh, copper ions and other ions which are moving inside. So electric current is the rate of flow of charged particles. And although we consider normally the charged particles to be electrons, we could also have positive electrons or positrons, perhaps the flow of protons, or perhaps various ions like uh, perhaps sodium or copper. And it's the flow of these charged particles which makes this electric current. And the symbol that we give to electric current is the symbol I. And this comes from uh, the French, the intensité de current, and uh, it's this symbol I that we use for electric current. And it's this current I that is measured in the unit, which is one of the seven base units, the ampere, uh, and that has the symbol capital A. This all leads on to the definition of what the ampere is. And because it's one of the seven base units, it has this kind of real fundamental uh, definition. And it's uh, the current flowing in two parallel wires, um, which are one metre apart in a vacuum, such as an attractive force of two times 10 to the minus seven newtons per metre of length between them. Now that is a massive ma mouthful and it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, maybe a better way to think about what one amp actually is, uh, is basically one amp, the same as one coulomb of charge passing a point in one second. And again, this means we need to look at the coulomb and uh, what that actually truly is. And this video up here, all about charge, will help you uh, understand that in a bit more detail. So this is uh, the units that we use for measuring current and actually trying to find out what it is in a circuit uh, brings its own problems. I have here a very simple circuit and what we have is a battery or a cell which is a source of EMF and we're going to have uh, the positive and the negative sides of that terminal. Now the way to remember this that I find useful is if you have your cell we have both the positive and the negative sides and maybe this kind of thing here will help. And the convention is that current flows from positive to negative. So there we go. This is what we call conventional current flow that goes from positive to negative. However, we know that the actual electrons are these little negatively charged particles uh, discovered about uh, sort of 115 years ago. Uh, and because these are negative, if they're going to be repelled from the negative end and they're going to be attracted to the positive end of that cell. So the actual electrons are going to be moving in the other direction. So these blue arrows here just show the direction that the electrons are actually moving in. And when you look at a wire, it's very hard to actually tell what's going inside because uh, if we look at this, uh, this wire here, uh, is there any electrons flowing inside it? Well, we can't tell. So we need some kind of measuring device. So in order to actually measure the current, what we need is some kind of ammeter. And it could be maybe an analog scale like the one here, or perhaps uh, something maybe like a multimeter that we can set uh, uh, to be an ammeter using the, the dial here. And if we connect this into a circuit, it's really important that it goes in series with the rest of the, the parts in that circuit. So it's important to note that the ammeter always goes in series and it should have a very, very low resistance. I've set up a simple circuit here just with a light bulb and the ammeter. And as soon as I connect that, although it's not particularly bright, we can see that there's a small current flowing of maybe 0.13 of an amp. 